Yeah, I mean, uh, really happy with this result today. Uh, we were able to extend our championship lead. Uh, it's definitely a shame what happened to Alan because I think we're having a good fight. Uh, but uh, yeah, very happy with the result. Very happy with especially how we turned around the weekend coming from free practice one. So uh, definitely happy with overall how we have uh, started off the season. And uh, well, lastly, I think uh, very important to say is that I would of course like to thank my, all my sponsors. So uh, especially Momo, uh, Hazelberg Systems, as well as Time Zone in Rhode Island, as well as Euroy. Yeah, it's a very great race. I don't have uh, the best luck uh, with the safety car because uh, I have a good speed after uh, five, six laps. And uh, without the safety car, uh, was possible win because Eitzman uh, isn't very fast. But the race are that and uh, I am happy for the Junior Trophy and uh, for the podium. I think yeah, most, I like most. In 2019 it was my best result in most. I finished, uh, I think, uh, P5. So, yeah, I like the track. I know it quite well. We drove a lot of time times there with the Renault Clio Cup. And I know the event quite well because we already joined the Clios with the Truck Festival. It's a really brilliant event. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, a podium again. Yeah, two podiums out of four races. So, uh, yeah, I'm very pleased to end up with the podium here, especially because I started P8. And Brands is really difficult to overtake. So, yeah, it was an amazing race. Uh, I, I was uh, had a lot of overtaking actions uh, after the restarts. Uh, L&D was leaking some oil, so the track was slippery in the end of the race. It was not easy, but uh, finished on the podium, so really happy. Yes, uh, it was honestly the best race I ever had in Euro NASCAR. Uh, the start was a bit difficult, I had some touches. And then uh, once I passed number 17, I, I took Adve as, a, as an objective and uh, I came lap by lap closer to him. But the hardest part was uh, when I got close to him because He's really, over, he's really hard to overtake and uh, once I overtook him I, I, I try to do my best lap ever and I made the gap and that's how I finished the race so I, I'm really happy about this result. Thank you very much, um, it's my first time here in Brandschatz and um, yeah the race was very hard. Um, yesterday I made the position free in the rookies and today I win the lady cup, it's great. Yes, um, I'm really looking for Most, and Most is also my first time, but I will give my best. Yeah, I'm, uh, I don't know what happened at the start. I guess by the time this interview is published, we'll know what happened. But I feel like, the, I mean, I was not the first guy across the line when, when the race started. So I don't know what happened over there. But then once Tobias was ahead, he was, he was like a rocket. I couldn't keep up with him. And I was just not comfortable with the car today, I feel. I don't know if I like the tires were not up to the right pressures or what, but I was struggling from lap two, and I had the best race with Simon. <laughs> I mean, I did everything I could to make my car as wide as possible in the most legal terms and keep him behind me. And uh, I did what I could, but I think it was like six laps from the end. I made a, I guess I just I ran out of grip and he got past. But big respect to Simon. I mean, such a clean driver, and it's such a pleasure racing with someone like that. When we're racing hard, I'm sure we touched each other a few times and to come home third is good, great points, two podiums and yeah, let's let's keep this championship going. Cool. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the race was actually really hard because we have some engine problems uh, over the weekend and the and, uh, car was also understeering, so it was really hard to drive, but somehow I managed to get up and yeah, I mean, it was great. I had uh, a bit of a difficult day in the office yesterday where I made some contact with my teammate, uh, Levi, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, I had good pace in the car. I drove in the NASCAR Wheeling Series two years ago and uh, I probably wasn't fit enough and I hadn't raced for a while. But I've been doing some historic racing this year, so I was, I was a bit fitter and uh, had done a little bit of racing. So I really enjoyed it and the team DF1 did a fantastic job. Um, and my teammate Mark Goosens, who's a bit of a legend in his own right, really, um, having won the, the festival here. But he was really helpful with letting me learn the car. So I had a fantastic weekend and great to have my family here as well.